Hello everyone. Good morning to all my wonderful students. Welcome back to your EVS class. As we all know that food, shelter and clothes are the three basic needs of the individual. All three are equal and human beings are being experimenting in these three things. Since the prehistoric era, there has been drastic change in the clothes that human beings Early man only used the large leaves of the trees to cover the body. With time, it was seen that animal skin are also used to cover the body. They use bark of the tree, even grass, to cover the body when the climate was hot. In winters, they cover themselves with the animal skin to stay warm when it was cold. Gradually. People learn about agriculture. They learn how to grow plants like cotton. Slowly, they also learn to weave the grass and twigs into mats and baskets. They learn to make yarn out of animals' fleece by twisting together into long strands. As they knew about weaving, fabric could be made out of this yarn. But कुछ लोगों को स्टिचिंग करना ही नहीं आता था सिंपली दे रैप द फैब्रिक अराउंड द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी जस्ट लाइक द टर्बन एंड साड़ी धोती लुंगी इज यूज्ड इन अ लॉन्ग पीस ऑफ फैब्रिक लेटर ऑन सींग नीडल मेड ऑफ बोन वाज इन्वेंटेड इट वाज द ग्रेट इन्वेंशन With the help of this invention of swing needle everything changed and stitching become possible slowly people started stitching fabrics and learn to make different types of clothes as we wear today like shorts trousers shirt frocks skirt etc so we see that natural fibers like cotton wool etc are used since a long time Nowadays we don't wear leaves and bark. Now let's discuss about spinning cotton yarn. We have variety of things made of cotton. For example, clothes, bed sheet, towel, fishing net, tent, etc. In order to make these things, we can't use cotton directly. It is because they are not enough to fulfill the requirement and strength we need to convert cotton fibers into yarn the process of making yarn from cotton fibers is called spinning you can do it at home as well here are some methods take some cotton and remove seeds from it with one hand pull some fibers from the cotton and twist them continuously by doing so fibers come close to each other they hold each other tightly and we get a long string the longest strong string obtained by twisting fibers together is formed into a cotton yarn fabric is made from yarn we get variety of fabrics based on amount of twist yarn for example low twist makes soft bulky and velvety fabrics while very high twist makes silky and shiny fabric general average twist is used to make a common fabric a simple device used to make yarn is hand spindle it is also called takli a famous hand operated device is charkha Mahatma Gandhi popularized it during independence movement nowadays spinning machine are used to produce yarn on large quantity these machines produce yarn with good quality now let's know about weaving that means bunai let's understand with this activity pick sufficiently big square pieces of paper one red and the other blue 
Make equal stripes of red paper. Take blue paper and fold it from middle. From the folded side, cut the paper at equal distances, but not all the way through. Now unfold the paper and you will see the paper with cutting. Now take a stripe of red paper and put it inside the paper such that it is under the blue stripe and over the next. Now take the second red stripe and weave it such that it is under the first blue stripe and over the next. Repeat this process few times. Now you should see this pattern. You can weave yarn in the same way. For that we need the sets of yarn. The process of arranging two sets of yarn is called weaving. It is very difficult to weave yarn with hands. To make it simple, we use to loom. Basically, loom is a structure which is used to give support to yarn weave. A tightly held thread or yarn strung over the loom vertically is a wrap thread or wrap yarn. Another thread which is drawn through and inserted over and under the wrap thread is the weft thread, means kapra, bunai, ya fir, weft yarn. With the weft thread, it is possible to create different patterns and design in the weave, and therefore, different designs are there in the fabric. In hand looms, weft thread is inserted by hand. However, uses of machine help us to make the process faster. I hope you have understood the topic very well. So now it's time to do a fun activity. So my dear students, watch the activity carefully. Follow the instructions given on the screen. So let's check it out. What are the instructions given on the screen? So here we are going to make a weaving paper. Our first step is Take two papers of different colors. Next what we have to do is mark vertical lines on one paper and horizontal lines on the other. Next cut both the papers along the marked lines. Take care the stripes should not get completely separated. Next what we have to do is place one paper above the other along the edges as shown in the picture in color. Stick the edges. Next. Now. Weave the stripes to make a mat. At the end what we have to do is paste tapes or a paper border at the edges so that the mat does not open up. That's it for today kids. I hope this module has helped you to know more about the clothes. So till then keep watching your EVS videos, help others, keep studying, be a mask, follow hygiene. Maintain social distancing. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye bye.